Hey everyone, it's your boy Zinni. Uh, I'm popping in a little bit before the podcast because we actually had some issues recording it. So luckily we had uh, Craig to thank for saving the entire podcast for us. So about halfway through, you'll actually hear me bitch that we lost uh, everything and we almost had to restart. But then I realized that Craig was still recording. So shout out to the developers that made Craig for Discord Lifesaver. So I'm actually going to play back a recording of the whole 33 minute podcast back to you guys so um please stay tuned to the end thank you for sticking through everything so here we go fuck craig's you, gonna craig. interrupt me fuck you craig you stupid bitch <laughs> um how's everyone's day going so far it's going it's good getting, re- getting going good getting ready for the beach yeah. Uh, I got uh, my first recruit on my new gaming uh, Discord. So it's going good for me, too. Nice. Well, I just got home from COVID, the yeah. quarantine. So. Yeah. You, uh, did you listen to the last episode? You sounded fucking dead. <laughs> no, I haven't looked to it yet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did sound dead. I went back and listened to it a little bit, and you're like, "Uh, "Yeah, I uh, (laughs) like I sounds about right." It sounded like you got stabbed in your guts, like midstream. Probably did. Went doubt it. Well, that's not a good way to go out, my friend. I'm a lot, so I can't complain. How is home now? Is it any different? It feels different. Feels different being home. Yeah, being stuck with people that you just work with is probably awkward. Well, no, one of them I worked with. One of them is a girl I'm talking to, so it wasn't that bad. Gotcha. Were you talking before you guys got yeah. quarantined together? Okay. Yeah. I was wondering. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 just no, no. We, we were talking before quarantine. Gosh, quarantine I, just. He was talking cheeks with COVID. I didn't, yeah, I didn't <laughs> know if it was just some sweet home Alabama shit where you guys were stuck together. <laughs> oh, God. This man. How are you doing, stepsister? <laughs> what are you doing, step bro? What are you doing, step bro? I'm stuck in the washer. <laughs> Help uh, me do laundry. I'm stuck, step bro. I, I'm glad you're not dead, SmackDown. That that's good. Uh, we got some congratulates. Uh, SmackDown stepped up to being my founder with me. Arsonist is now a uh, owner, and Storm Cobra is now one of my directors. For now, till he inevitably gets himself demoted again. <laughs> never, never again. Never I again. I just got the dollar. I have been doing phenomenal. So one? fuck y'all. Yeah, you've been doing good. But you know what has not been doing good? <laughs> See this little cool transition right into the first topic: The Walking Dead and Riverdale. The, I, the first topic we have tonight. Is a TV series that we feel need to die. Hey, The Walking Dead has one more season left, and then it's done completely. I'll I'll get to that. I'll get to that. But um, what are some TV series that you guys think need to die? The Last of Us. Didn't even start. Fuck you. God damn it! (laughs) I wasn't gonna bring it up, asshole. But uh, (laughs) no, I for me think. The Walking Dead needs to die. That shit's been going on too fucking long. You're not wrong. I can't even understand the time jump die. anymore. I don't even know how many years in the apocalypse. Like, it's getting closer to, like, some Last of Us type shit. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure we're, like, 15 years into the apocalypse at this point. Damn near, to be honest. Like, come on, how many more years do I need to watch Daryl wear that stupid-ass jacket of his? <laughs> Eating I mean, squirrels and shit. dog no more. I, I, wait a minute. What do you mean, the dog? I didn't hear anything about that. Um, if I remember, if I remember, I, right I didn't here. die. I just watched it. I just watched the last few episodes. Hmm. Oh no, I'm almost through season ten. Gotcha. I bought it on my PlayStation account like three or four months ago, and then Netflix was like, "Hey, Walking Dead has new episodes." No, I have AMC Plus. So mm. nice. Yeah. Um. Is so. What shows for you? Guys that have went on a little too long. Shameless. Shameless. Hey, shameless yeah. is on its last season. Don't you don't you talk about shameless like that? It's on its Dude, last season. Like 
Orange kinda, is the new black. Yeah, y'all better watch your mouth about Shameless, first of all. But that's kind of how I felt about uh, Supernatural needed to die. That's well, exactly. No, no, no. Now they y'all really comedy. need to watch your mouth. I've only watched one season of Supernatural oh, and I no. fucking hated it. <laughs> I fought every demon and creature in the book like 50 freaking times and they finally ended it after 15 seasons. Right. Yeah, yeah that, that was kind of a like, could have been like a six season uh, show, but they kept going. Yeah. You want to know why? Money. It's mm-hmm. always about money. We love that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I love Supernatural and I love Shameless, so I think they both should keep going. See, my one of my favorite shows is Riverdale, but I don't know if you guys watch Riverdale. But I've seen the newest season yet? The newest the season, episodes. the newest season is fucking garbage. Like I hate it. Like I just, it it feels like it's gotten so far from like where we've come storyline wise and everything. And now, like, they did, like, a jump to where they're all older and they all have their own careers and shit, you know? But it just, none of it makes any fucking sense. Like, it's just so weird now. Like, I don't even know what to say about it. I think Sons of Anarchy should probably just die, too, because I really never... No, Sons is dead. That's been dead. Sons of Anarchy died after seven seasons. Yeah, but isn't it finished? No, that's what I'm saying. It's been finished. Unless you're talking about, like, the Mayan spinoff. That's uh, what I'm talking about, the Mayan spinoff. That's what I thought you said about that. I'm like, wait, what? No, no, I like the Mayan spinoff. I thought it was pretty cool. I meant, they're going to keep milking that. They'll make other spinoffs, just like The Walking Dead does. Yeah. yeah that's why they got Fear of the Walking Dead, which is supposed to... No, 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 no. Listen to this, man. Bro, you want to talk about fondling? The Walking Dead is like at the balls, gripping them up to milk it a little bit more. Bro, well, yeah, exactly. So, like, the second thing that I have on here for like my topic is The Walking Dead getting another spinoff. So, like, Are you not only do we have The Walking Dead, that's also like season eleven is coming, and that's gonna be the last of it in quotations or whatever. But now we have a spinoff with Daryl and Carol coming out. We have a spinoff called The World Beyond, and then we have a spinoff of Fear the Walking Dead. So they just keep coming out with shit. Like you I mean, know, when I say seasons, I mean everything needs to die. Yeah, I mean technically, <laughs> Fear the Walking Dead is everything that leads up to the events of The Walking Dead. Nah, at this point, they're in the same timeline though. Like they're at the same like time jump. Yeah. So they can't. My problem is. I just don't give a shit anymore because none of the characters that were there from the first season for both shows, Fear the Walking Dead, all they have is Alicia left, which, yes, that is some ass to watch, but, like... Glenn. Glenn's Glenn's been dead. Yeah, Glenn's been dead. dead. Yeah, the only person... There's only two people left from the very first season of The Walking Dead. Can you tell me who they are? Carol and Daryl. Yep, that's the only two. Technically, Rick, was- but we have no idea what's going on with Rick. Yeah. All I know is they put him, put it, he got on the helicopter with the lady and they took off. And well, that was because he didn't, his uh, voice actor, Andrew Lincoln, said he was done with the show because he wanted to be able to spend time with his family. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, elaborating on that, Andrew Lincoln will be filming two movies in England, which is where he lives. If you didn't know, he's British. Yes. Uh, but he wanted to be close to his family, so they're filming the movies in England. So he's British. Yeah. Which he's British. Also, most of the cast is. It's cool that they're doing it, but at the same time, what Rick left season nine, so if he, he could have literally just hung on for like two more seasons. Yeah, like I get which is two years or so, but dude, you've been here since season one, bro. Like <laughs> you didn't want to finish out the show, and now my show. Yeah. Michonne also left the show. She wanted to pursue her own thing. So she left the show. She's gone and tried to find Rick. So it kind of just leaves Judith and RJ as fucking orphans. <laughs> so like this show well, he has is another kid. He has another kid. Yeah. So when Rick dies in season, uh, I think it's nine. 
Yeah. When it comes to when it comes to the when it comes to the time jump, this mixed kid between Rick and Michonne just randomly pops up, and they're like, "Oh yeah, by the way, Michonne had Rick's baby off screen while this was happening." <laughs> Damn. So yeah, that shit's gone way off the rails. I and mean, it's just this little badass <laughs> shooting zombies with. Her dad's revolver and cutting him up with a small katana. And what's even funnier about that is, is like this kid just randomly pops up and meets the group without his, yeah. without the parents. Well, no, uh, technically they were. Michonne was still there, so this was like recently that Michonne left the show. Like it was like the last four or five episodes of the show. Oh, so I honestly, couldn't even tell you where it's going in season eleven. But if Daryl and Carol are having a spinoff, I'm guessing everyone else has to die. <laughs> right? I mean, like, if, if that makes sense. You can't Reedus just keep going. Away, if Norman Reedus was, would have mm-hmm. walked away from The Walking Dead, like he was talking about doing like season five or season, season six, they would have lost so many people that watched it because that's like, that's like the most badass character in the whole fucking show besides the yeah. show. I feel the like issue with his episode. character is he's not even in the comics. Well, yeah, everybody was in the comics but him. Yeah, so they can do whatever they want with him. But do you know the reason that that is uh, SmackDown? No. So um, he actually, Merle Dixon is in the comics. And yeah. uh, Daryl, or Norman Reedus, actually applied to become Merle. And they liked uh, Michael Rooker for the job m- more to the point where he got it, but they thought Daryl was like this perfect fit and that he needed to be in the show. So cast in Merle's younger brother, Daryl. And, uh, and from there, because if you know, in the comics, Ty Reese and Rick are best friends, not Rick or not Rick and Daryl. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I mean, a lot of things that happen in the comic don't happen, like Rick yeah. dying and getting his hand cut off by Negan. Um, but yeah, that's my take on a fucking Walking Dead spinoff. I feel like everyone has to die because you just can't leave the Walking Dead knowing that all these characters are still here because there's always something that's going to pop up. Well, speaking of, Michael, supposed to be aliens. speaking of uh, Michael Rooker, Q, he's, he plays in Suicide Squad. If you haven't watched it yet. I'm surprised he can do that because doesn't Marvel have like a non-compete with DC where they can't nah, compete in each other's movies? Not necessarily. Look at Ryan Reynolds. Well, Ryan Reynolds is... Ryan Reynolds, fucking Chris. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> he can do whatever he's he little, wants. He's a little different. What about well, Chris? not only uh, that, the character that he plays is already dead anyway, so it's not like... Yeah, yeah you got uh, the guy that plays um, Captain America. He played uh, the Human Torch in the first Fantastic Four. Chris oh. Evans. That's still yeah, Marvel. Uh, that's still Marvel. Technically, okay. so is what you guys were thinking of. Ryan Reynolds was in Green Lantern. That's Marvel as well. No, it's, it's not. DC. That's DC. No, is it? Is DC. Yeah. 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 Well, Green Lantern is part of the Justice League. Okay, maybe I got that confused, but yeah, but I don't think it's the other way around with like DC to Marvel. But I I know Marvel had this big thing where they couldn't go and work with DC. That's probably a very good. I need toilet paper too. But at the same time, Michael Rooker has not been a part of since yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy two. So it's probably a non compete for like four years, something like that. And if that's the well, case, his then character it's died. Been, uh, toilet paper. Yeah. His character died on like what the first ten minutes of the movie. No, not Dude, the. Where are, you going? are you talking about in the new Suicide Squad? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, I haven't I seen like, that yet. Down to yeah. here. It, the first like. 15, 20 minutes of that You guys said it's on HBO, but I can't find it anywhere. Well, I, it's the first thing that pops up for me. Yeah, no, yeah. I can't find it. I would always talk to it and it wouldn't fucking show up. But yeah. And then, wait, I need paper plates. Oh, Godzilla vs. Kong. Excuse me. HBO Max. It's back it on is, there. It, it was a good movie. There, no, well, what HBO does is they'll release a movie for like a week and then take it off no, let it like, play through like theater. Yeah, let it play through theaters, and then after that, they will put it back on. Yeah, it's on here for me, Q. All right, what do you need now? I'm going to continue watching The Suicide Squad. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Next topic. Next topic. All right. 
So we're about to get in some debatable shit here Great. real quick. Fantastic. Games that podcast. Games to turn in the movies. Why do <laughs> we think they're usually not successful? They leave out a lot of details that were in the game. So like a lot of details. Guys, guys, guys shut up. Shut up. I'm about to be mad as fuck. I'm not well, recording. I'm not recording. Oh, oh my wait, God. wait. I'm still recording with Craig though. Craig might be able to save me if I can figure out how to work it. All right. Oh my God, Quentin. I'll just keep going. Anyway, all hail Craig. Yeah, no, thank fuck. God for Craig. Fuck yeah. Craig, stupid bitch. I just gotta Craig figure just out how saved to. Your ass. Craig did just save my fucking ass. Um, I'm gonna hit the record button over here too, though, just to be safe. Um, uh, are we recording about, again? Uh, video yeah. Games. Yeah, um, so a, a, another show that I'm really invested in, and I've rewatched it like two or three times already because I'm re- waiting for the next season to come out is um it's Gotham. It's like the that, backstory of like how uh how Commissioner the Joker Gordon became the Joker. Um, yeah, it's like the backstory of how everybody came to be a big role in the um yeah into Batman, and the kid that plays the Joker is actually one of the um kids from Shameless. Yeah. Is it Lip? No, no it's, uh, it's his DM. brother. DM. Uh, he he plays he plays that part so fucking good. Alrighty, so back to it. Games that turn into movies, and why do we think they're not successful? Because they leave out so much detail, they miss key elements of the plot. So let's go. I'll do this real quick. Uh, the Witcher TV series, fantastic series, but they're missing. They're leaving out all sorts of stuff and it pisses me off at the same time. They're no, they're doing that based on the book. Yeah, but still, if you look at the fucking show, what's the only sign Geralt uses in that show? It, I haven't seen it, but the I know only... that they they you they're basing it off the book. They're not the doing only... they're basing off the books, not the the game. The only sign that Geralt is using is art in that show. Like they're missing his other <laughs> Four other signs that he uses, but maybe they haven't gotten there yet. I mean, he sh- but he knows all of them. He's out of Caramorn, so he knows all the signs. Yeah, but that doesn't necessarily mean that he has to use them. So, do, okay. like I said, they they have a plan. I guess I would assume because they're getting a the second season for it. Yes, December. I cannot wait. But what's another TV show that came from a game? Well, he's TV talking about show, movies. like movie. Movie. What about Doom? That's a that's one that a lot of people look at. Like, what the I fuck happened? Three years ago, I like that with The Rock. Yeah, I, I thought that was a good movie. Everyone else like shits on it. I was like, man, I was rocking that shit. I, I fucking love that. that movie. No pun intended. It's one of those like stupid fun movies. Exactly. I don't know why everyone hated on it. Resident Evil is pretty bad. I like Resident Evil also. Besides the fact that like every character death happened off scene and it seemed like they just didn't have money to film them die. (laughs) I don't know. But the plot wasn't terrible. A little cringy, but like you know. If if I had to give like an opinion on it though, I I think it's like two big reasons about it is because games themselves are like eight hours or longer that you play in and they're trying to cram all of that into like an hour and usually you get left with either more questions than you started with or you get left on a cliffhanger for a sequel that never comes right. well it's yeah, not I, as I impressive uh, <laughs> speaking of six or seven hours of gameplay uh tomorrow hopefully i will be playing through that game quentin i gotcha um but i feel like they failed due to not being as immersive and usually the cast. It feels like, for some reason, movie like people got everything. Like they don't pick cast very well. Yeah. Well, I think another thing is is because um, video games, even though that we they have like a wide range of audience and shit that they you know appeal to, it doesn't appeal to everybody. Not everybody wants to go and see an Assassin's Creed movie just because it has Michael Fassbender in it. You know. I honestly never even watched the Assassin's Creed movie because I was scared how much of a letdown it was going to be. I mean, you're not wrong, 
But like, if you didn't think of it as an Assassin's Creed movie, it was better, I guess. Well, I don't know. I got one. I got one. A, a movie that came from a video game, the Need for Speed movie. That was a cringe. I love that movie, though. I feel I mean, like they just, they just they just the rip off the Fast like, and the Furious. Kind of they literally <laughs> did things that were like right out of the Fast and Furious movie, but like just your name's not Brian. It's <laughs> It's Not boring. necessarily. They actually did racing, and yeah, it. Like, it was all about cars. But yeah, it had story, but it was always, always, oh, you were always in a car. You never had to sit yeah. there and worry about somebody yelling "family" at the top of their lungs for the f- last fifteen, twenty minutes of the movie. Hey, hey what I want to know is where? When do they stop for gas? The Fast and the Furious one through four were all right. After that, I don't know yeah. what happened. But the Fast and <laughs> Furious and Tokyo Drift were the only ones about racing. Everything else is about hunting people down and no, riding too, a too, fast, too Furious was about a drug cartel leader. And yeah, for your information, they, doing races, they ran the goddamn car to a boat. I should have seen where it was going from there. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't. Listen, for your information, by the way, they do fuel in the movie and Need for Speed. They hot fuel where they don't stop and they just keep driving, but the oh, car yeah, is right. fueled. That's right. They do Tesla. That. Look, my favorite part from Too Fast, Too Furious is towards the end where Tyrese pushes the button and goes, Eject Ocito, cuz. That's my favorite part of the whole fucking movie. Mine is the home uh, movie. When Paul Walker starts saying cut a lot during that movie, I always crack out. When we we rewatched it, I don't remember. I don't don't remember. Don't worry about it, cuz. I don't remember which Fast and Furious movie they were recording. But uh, Tyrese was looking for Paul Walker. They were looking for Paul Walker. Tyrese walks up on him, and he's dressed up like Vin oh Diesel. Oh my the god, he had the suit, suit on. Him. Yes, and he like, was... It's Diesel, Diesel time. It's Diesel time! <laughs> it's Diesel time! <laughs> <laughs> he was fucking treasured and just whenever around. He was so funny. Whenever yeah. me and Quentin were rewatching the Fast and Furious movies, the whole time he was like ejecto. I was like, no, not yet. Ejecto Sitoka! Oh, yes. Ejecto Sitoka! <laughs> the we actor the that plays Jesse in the first Fast and Furious plays yes. in Supernatural as well. I think I did see him at some point. But, I'm not gonna lie, my all-time favorite episode of Supernatural is the Yellow Fever episode when Dean goes to open the locker and the cat meows at him. That seems now, to be everybody's favorite. Now, my favorite is when they're in the hospital and Dean acts retarded. He's like, <laughs> they're not supposed to be in there. No, I think my favorite is um, fucking. Uh, uh, the, they were. But you're not, you're not wrong about that. That is my bro. And I saw that bro. I geeked out. The I, monster I, I, movie one was pretty good too. I, I was gonna say the one where they like they become like the supernatural TV show in the actual TV show. I need to find you. Yeah. I think that's one of my favorite episodes because they had to like run off of all of their tropes. That one and the one where they uh, they did like the high school play based on their life. Mm-hmm. The Scooby Doo crossover one. was really good in season fourteen. The Scooby Doo one. Yeah, I loved that. That was it was hella weird, but they I loved it all off, the same. They start off playing the fucking giant di- stuffed dinosaur. <laughs> oh man! But yeah, all right. Uh, Quentin's favorite line, pudding, is... Pudding! I love that. that, <laughs> I, that shit is saw that episode. I just saw that part on, like, Twitter or something, and I fucking lost it. What's wrong with him? Pudding! Pudding! <laughs> um, if anything, hopefully we can hope that they don't mess up The Last of Us TV show. Well, here's my next oh, thing what? that I hope I they don't mess know. up. Not gonna lie, I kind of kind of hope they do because uh-huh. it'll be funny to watch Quentin's uh-huh. reaction. Fuck uh-huh. I might do a watch party for it, honestly. <laughs> Everybody judge it for yourselves. But, uh, it. but if you say anything bad about it, get the fuck out of my house. But um all right. So I got one final thing coming from the same makers of The Last of Us Natty Dog. So we are getting an uncharted movie. Uh, Tom Holland playing as Nate. Yes. Get the fuck out of here. Tom Holland is Nathan Drake, but you'll never guess who was... So this movie was supposed to come out like 
10 years ago. So you'll never guess who was originally casted for it, but now has to play solely because they're older. Who? Mark Wahlberg. What? Oh, Mark man. Wahlberg is going to be solely because he was originally supposed to be Nathan Drake. But just, it, oh, that would have yeah. been great. That would have been but great, I, him playing Nathan Drake. Oh, my gosh. Too long, so now he has to be Victor Sullivan. That makes no, I don't know. I hate it. That's a really bad decision. I, I don't know. I like Tom Holland as an actor. Yeah, I like Tom Holland as an actor, but he just doesn't fit the Nathan Drake that well, we all to love. Be, we only see him in like Spider Man to be fair. Nathan Drake, but not like the older. No, well, I've I seen have him a picture. Like a couple other things. Let me drop this picture in chat. I was going to pull it up, but you know, since I'm using Craig, I'm going to have to do this completely different. And I don't even know how I'm going to do it yet. But let me just show y'all. Uh, like, it's not that far off, honestly. From like, uh, there's a picture of him from like one set in the movie or whatever, or the poster. I don't really know, but it's not it's not that bad. I mean, he kind of looks know. more we like him than Mark to... Wahlberg does, honestly. Yeah, we just I mean, like Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, yeah, I can see it playing a young Nathan Drake. Well, technically, I'm pretty sure this is about the first movie or the first game. Well, so they it makes said sense it was that doing a younger. Here. They were doing a younger version of it. They were going to do it based off the games. They were going to do it, like, on his yeah. younger self. Yeah, it's also, you know. But they also have uh, someone playing as Chloe already. I forget who they... Let me pull it up. Uncharted, the movie, cast. I wonder who they're going to have playing. They have Sof- know- Sophia Taylor Ali as Chloe Frazier. You want to know who would have made a great Nathan Drake back in the day, like like say early two thousand six, two thousand seven? Ryan Reynolds, Dane Cook, Dane Cook. I'd have to look that up. I don't know who that is. He was the comedian. I Matt Good luck, fucking Chuck. Damon. I, I Matt Damon. I'm getting ready. Oh, I out. I hate Matt Damon. Why? Matt Damon's a good actor. Matt Damon saying... and Mark Wahlberg have the same face, man. <laughs> no. but, Fucking Damon. I used to get them so I fucking Matt confused. Damon from like The Departed with Mark Wahlberg in it or fucking Goodwill Hunting. He does not fit Nathan Drake at all. I don't know. I want to see what some people on the internet say. So, some people think Bradley Cooper. Oh, I can uh, see that. Yeah. Jensen yeah. Ackles. Or well, this is a huge one. A lot of people actually requested this person to play as Joel in The Last of Us. Also, Gerald Butler, Gerard Butler. Yeah, good. I love. I could see him playing Joel. He would have made a good Joel. Joel. Really fucking good. I uh, this one, this one. I could have really seen this one as Nathan Drake. Tell me, Chris Pratt doesn't look like Nathan Drake. Yeah. yeah. That is a good oh one. yeah. Shit. He could, he could, but their schedules are fucked <laughs> because of all the Marvel movies. Yeah. So they said for I think Phase Five for the Marvel for the next set of Marvel movies, they're gonna bring uh, Deadpool into the yeah main I heard about part that. of the movies. And they're saying uh, there was a rumor going around for the next Deadpool movie is going to just like show all the events of um, Endgame and Infinity War, or it's going to be the the big fight in Endgame, and he's going to run towards the portal to try helping everybody, and it's just going to close on him as he gets to it. Honestly, here I'm going to drop a picture, another picture. They look alike. Funny. They look alike, but I don't know. I don't know how Mark Wahlberg is going to play Sully. I just, it's cool I that can't... they kept him on. It's cool that they kept him on. And he can play like a semi younger Sully, but when they get to like older Sully, if they make a few movies, I don't think Mark Wahlberg is going to be able to pull it off. Mark Wahlberg doesn't age, man. Neither is Keanu Reeves, but. Yeah, Keanu Actually, Reeves. Actually, he's like 50. Still looking like he's 25. Yeah. yeah. He's immortal. You know who would have <laughs> been like a really good Sully? Who? Fucking uh, Robert De Niro. Who's that? Robert. Ro- you don't know Robert De Niro? I gotta oh. look up faces, bro. I don't know people by their name. He was in Goodfellas. That was a good movie. Oh, oh that guy, that guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who else would make a a good uh, Nathan? Who? 
shit. How the fuck am I forgetting it as I'm trying to tell it? Oh my god. I, I honestly, I can, I honestly <laughs> forgot. Will Ferrell. Zach oh Efron. god. Zach Efron would be a good one. Zach Efron would be a really good Nathan Drake. Zach Efron looked just like Nathan Drake, man. <laughs> shit, weird. But he 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 got a body on him now though. He not he not skinny like he used to be. Mm. Well, Nathan Drake isn't exactly fucking. No, he built. He built like Zac Efron used to be. Yeah. Yeah, when he played in High School Musical. Okay, let's just have <laughs> Jonah Hill as Nathan Drake. Oh God. <laughs> 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 fucking Ch- yeah! If that's the case, Channing Tatum's gonna be Sully. <laughs> <laughs> Come out of retirement just to play one character. Right. Wait, you know what? I'm honestly surprised. I'm not surprised somehow they didn't spin it where Kevin Hart is fucking Nathan Drake and Sully is The Rock or some shit. <laughs> Did you I already I would, did that. Jumanji. I would buy it just for, yeah, to be fair, yeah. Look, the friendship that The Rock and Kevin Hart have is goals. Yeah, but they, it, it's every, they make the same movie. Every yeah, time that's together. my issue with them. They make the same movie. The first time I watched Central Intelligence, I didn't really care for it. But... No. If there's a fucking movie you gotta watch with Kevin Hart in it, I don't know why. It's not even one of his better movies, but this fucking movie had me fucking dead the entire time. I was on a date, and I couldn't stop laughing like I was on Coke or something. It was uh, <laughs> night Night School with Kevin Hart. That yeah. shit was so fucking funny. I don't care who you are, man. Watching a guy get electrocuted from a grill and then sent through his fucking Ferrari when he's broke is the most funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. Like, <laughs> um, the first part of the first ride along movie that he did with Ice Cube when they're out at the gun range. And he shoots the, he shoots the 12 gauge and it fucking throws him into the fucking uh, trash can behind him. He's like, my stomach in my ass. <laughs> I need a. I got on. What was his first movie? Paper Kevin Soldiers. Arts? Paper Soldiers with Ice Cube. That was a good movie. Or not Ice Cube. It was Jay Z. You talking about talking about who Kevin Hart's? Kevin Hart's first movie. Yeah, it was called Paper Soldiers. Oh no, I've never seen that. I've seen Toy Soldiers. That was a good movie. <laughs> Does that even have Kevin Hart in it? <laughs> no. No, that's like a '90s movie. You know another underrated movie that I also be dying to? <laughs> Death at a Funeral. That shit. My God. It was so fucking funny. For no Both reason. of the versions are actually pretty good, too. Oh, Kevin's in that. I didn't even realize. Where? I think one of my all-time favorite movies with Mark Wahlberg and Tyrese Gibson in it will always be Four Brothers. Oh, that was a good yeah, movie. I've never seen movie. that movie. I always see things on TikTok about it, like praising it. I've seen it. It's a, it is a it is a really good movie. Yeah, be uh, uh, like put down like for it real. It has um, it has Andre three thousand from Outcast in it as well. Oh shit, boys! I just realized the time. It's about that time to be done for the day, so I can figure out this whole Craig situation. Um, <laughs> fuck it! I hope this is even usable because I've never done this before. If it's not, it'll be messaging us in like 20 minutes. I'm sure you'll figure Probably it out. Probably get back in the chat again, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, boys, I apologize for coming in a little late, and I still thank you for having me. Yep, no problem. We're going to be pushing out uh, ones all this week. You guys won't see them until they come out. But um, just keep a lookout. we got some interesting topics coming up. Uh, if you enjoyed this, leave a like, subscribe, share, and do whatever you got to do. Keep uh, doing for more podcasts and more chaos. But yeah, we appreciate you. And uh, we're up to 31 subscribers already, so that's cool. All nice. right. Let's keep that number growing, everyone. All righty.